Hi guys, Sean from Optics. So today we've got the IOR Breaker 2 to 16 by 42 first focal plane. So I've got two on the table here, both exactly the same scopes. One's just more of a sandy um, finish, their sort of style of tan. It's, it's got a slightly greeny tint, so it's worth bearing in mind if you do think it is exactly a tan colour, it's slightly got a greeny tint. And obviously this is the black one and I'm going to get straight into the specs and I'm going to just use the tan greeny style uh, for uh, demoing. So as we start, as always we start with a diopter, fast focus, easy to adjust, plenty of diopter adjustment there. Move forward, we've got the IOR logo just on there, the crest and just the magnification stated. Go forward again, this is then onto the magnification ring. We've got a cat's tail on there, just for basically allowing the shooter to easily change the magnification. And as I said, it's a 2 to 16 by 42. Move forward again, it's a 35 mil main tube on this. It actually gives you 125 MOA of internal adjustment. Um, this scope is actually a mil radian, but most of the time I tend to talk in MOA just in terms of levels of adjustment, just because a lot of people find it easier uh, to sort of work out in their head how much a scope's got in terms of um, in terms of internal adjustment. Uh, with being a 35 mm main tube, we will supply a free set of rings with every purchase on uh, the IOR range. So again, moving forward, we have a locking turret. This is IOR's new series of turrets. Uh, pull up, push down, locking system. Pull up and we've got the clicks and we push down nice and easy and that's the turret locked. Nice and easy. We go down from that locking system and we have the secondary point indicator. It's a, it's a theme across all the IOR scopes in the range and the secondary point indicator, again like I stated in all the other videos, is basically uh, giving the shooter the ability to have either a different round or a different distance that they tend to shoot at and the ability to move to that distance quickly. So for instance, say I'm at the, the, the zero point on my rifle, it's zeroed at 100 yards, and I have the, the zero or the secondary point indicator indicating at 300 yards, I can quickly, um, because I've gone to the range and I'm gonna shoot at 300 yards, I go from my 100 yard zero stop position I then pull the turret up and there we go. I dial straight to that and that's my 300 yard point and then bang, I'm straight on it. It's a nice, quick, easy system. And I will then move then onto the windage. Big, chunky windage turret. Again, as a theme on all IOR scopes and it's slightly different on the tan model uh, just because uh, white doesn't show up on it, so they've done black is right and they've done red is left. So you still have that common. Move to the other side now. We have a digital illumination system and as you can see Iowa are finally getting into the 21st century. They've sort of sleekened up their scopes. They've made them much more aesthetically pleasing to look at. The finish is a lot better. They've Cerakoted this one. So as always, IOR have priced these scopes to be incredibly competitive and you're going to get plenty of bang for your buck with buying an IOR in general and especially with this scope. You've got a zero stop, you've got a locking turret, you've got a dual indicator uh, or dual zero indicator, digital illumination, side parallax actually down to seven metres and I'll come on to that in a second. You've got a nice magnification range of two to 16, nice compact objective making it perfect partner for AR platforms or for people wanting a sleeker look on their rifle. And they really are, when you compare them to their competition and take all these features into account, these really are a good scope and really do offer that bang for your buck. As I said, I wanted to get onto the parallax. This actually comes down to seven meters. So side focus system that comes right down again with a nice cat's tail on there and it comes right down to seven meters. So this really is a good dual use scope. So this can be put onto 
an air rifle for instance and you could find HFT shooters using this so I know a lot of HFT shooters are looking for first focal plane, mill, parallax down to very low ranges and good field of view this scope literally offers it all so is you, this is going to be a step above say the Vortex PST Gen 2 to the 10 by 32 slightly bigger objective but as you can see as IOIs go especially it's nice and compact and I really think this would be a good contender for people who are looking for that step up in glass quality. You will also see on the bottom of the scope, this is a coil erector spring. Do not touch this, as if you play with it, it will break the scope. So Iowa tend to put these in because they get put onto heavy recoil and rifles. Just keep the tube inside in incredibly tight and well secure. So please do it. don't fiddle with these. <laughs> Um, again, German shot ED glass, superb optics, rugged, robust, everything you want out of a rifle scope, this does. So yeah, that sort of summarises this and I think really it's one of the best scopes they've done recently as a great all-rounder. So yeah, we're really pleased with it. I thought also what I would do, as these literally came in just before I um, came to shoot this video, We've got some brand new uh, patches, just some swag. We've been off, uh, asked a lot for these, so thought we'd get actually get a move on and get some made. We've got a uh, tan one, and we've got a black one. These will be on the website probably in the next couple of days to buy, and they also will be going in with um, certain purchases of the larger kind, so anything over like £1,500, we'll probably throw one of these in. And yeah, if you do will like them, check out the website because they will be going on there. And we will be looking to put in a bit more sort of merch and swag just because we are actually getting quite a lot of people wanting t-shirts, jumpers. So if there's any designs or anything you like, uh, just comment in this video or drop us a direct email and we're, we'll put them all together and get the designers to come up with something. Well, I hope you like this video. This is the Iowa Breaker. If you want us to um, review anything else, just let us know, comment, send us an email, and we'll see what we can do. This is Sean from Optics. See you later.